is on the goal line. It's a goal line from Forbes. Duncan Forbes, his first goal of the season and the big breakthrough. Duncan was really lovely. He was always very popular with people in Norfolk and he was like exactly how he was with other people. He was he was good, he was kind, he was funny. Oh God. It took two years to get him diagnosed. We had someone come from the Julian Hospital to the house and he used to say, what's this, pointing at watch and holding up a pen? That was no good. He couldn't remember what he had for his dinner the day before. And it wasn't until Norwich played um, on a Saturday and the doctor came from the hospital on the Monday and Duncan couldn't remember anything about the game. So he said, no, he said, he's got Alzheimer's. Um, I cried. I don't think Duncan realised why I was crying. It just went on from there. He was only about 63, 64. And it just got, got steadily worse. put alarms on the front door to stop him getting out. So that meant I had to lock myself in with someone who was becoming agitated and violent. Um, but that wasn't Duncan, he, he wasn't like that. that. That was the illness. So it got really difficult. My dad was in his early 60s when he just, ugh, look, I think it's one of those things where people do get forgetful. You, you know, you forget your, your, your car keys, you mislay your wallet. Um, the alarm bell started ringing for my dad um, when he got lost driving his car um, one evening. He went to watch my son, uh, Oliver, play at Wroxham. He used to love going to watch all his grandchildren play sport. And, you know, of course, my dad knew the roads in Norfolk like the back of his hand. He knew all the shortcut, shortcuts uh, to get everywhere across the county. Uh, and on the way back from Wroxham to Horsford, where the family home was, my dad got lost. And that's when alarm bells really started to, to ring. And where we knew something absolutely wasn't right, just, you know, it was finding, finding out what you know, what stage of dementia my dad was at then, and, uh, and then things got progressively worse. He used to write a diary every day, and one day he picked up his um, pen and, and couldn't write anymore, and uh, didn't, didn't know how to write anymore. So, you know, it was a, a, a gradual, a gradual spiralling of, uh, of events, and, you know, what people don't understand about dementia is, is you know, that the patients don't get better. It's, you know, it's, it's a miserable existence right to the, to the very end. program like uh, Duncan's Club is is so so important and of course these programs will need financial help to run all I can say is what dementia has done you know to, to our family the effect it has on our family uh, has you know has been truly awful and I think it's really important what uh, Norwich City are doing uh, you know, through Duncan's Club and this initiative, um, and it will need financial support to, to run. So any donations which people can make, I know we're in hard times now with all the bills going up and, you know, but 
in any way anybody can help, it's, it's really important. I think that carers need all the help they can get, basically. And the people that are ill still need a life and they need to make more. The most of the what's left